So the amount of bars between your X and D point or the start and completion of your pattern is critical. If you've seen this video where we show you our database of 1.5 million patterns, you'll see how we take that info and we use it for future patterns. Of course, just because something happens in the past, it doesn't mean it's going to happen in the future, but such a large number of patterns gives us a starting point. So we can take this information and figure out a few things like how long a pattern can take to complete. How long will it take for the pattern to reverse and maybe not necessarily hitting a target, but just reversing? And do patterns that contain a certain bar count have a better chance or better odds of working out? Now, once we know all this, we can then choose if we want to apply the information found from the previous 1.5 million patterns to those future patterns. So we're going to dive in deeper right after this. So I think it goes without saying that you will need our XABCD pattern suite in order to do all this stuff. So I will put a link in the description to it in case you do need to get that. Now we have our chart all loaded up. We have our scanner on the right hand side, chart on the left hand side. And when it comes to bar counts, we could use a measuring tool that's built into NT8. Um, but our indicators actually have posted the number for you on the bar count right in the bottom left. However, the whole point of this video is to show you how we can take that number and put it right into the scanner so that we can do other cool things with it, like uh, apply color changes, uh, stuff like that, so that we know before even clicking on the pattern if it's going to meet that minimum bar count from X to D that we're looking for. Now you can see in our marketing analyzer, we do have seven timeframes that we're going to be adding the bar count to for all seven of those. To do this, we need to edit our column. So we're going to right click on the marketing analyzer and go to columns. So if we click on the first column, you can see that we have a choice to plot the pattern value, which is what we are doing now, or we can change this to the total bars. Now, I don't want to change it for this column because I still want the columns names and directions and all that stuff to show up, but I do want to add it in. So what I need to do, the easiest way is to duplicate this column first and then change the plot to the second column or the duplicated column to the total bars. Now, the easiest way to duplicate a column is by selecting and scrolling down to save the column as your preset so that when you do get that option to add in that new row, you will see all these presets already saved. It's essentially creating a, du a duplicate. So scroll down, go to presets and then save. Now we'll find the XABCD pattern suite in the list of columns and we're going to double click on the one that says XT patterns. So this is basically going to create a duplicate and then we'll reorder it to bring it up and sit it right beside the other, the other column that we've duplicated. Now we want to change two things in this duplicated column. We want to change both the plot type as well as the label so it makes more sense. So for the plot type, we're going to pick total bars and for the label, we're going to say the time frame as well as uh, dash bars for bar count. Now we're going to go through and duplicate a column for each one and I'll come back to you. We'll just let this kind of fast forward through it so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, it doesn't take long at all. And we're going to have a duplicated column for each one. Now, when you've gotten this far, you've done quite a bit of work, so don't forget to save that market analyzer template. We can then clear away all the conditions inside of the columns so that if the pattern is greater than X number of bars, I'm going to use 40 just in this example, um, then we are going to say that the pattern background color behind the bars is going to be yellow as well. Now that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in below. Otherwise, stay safe and we will see you guys in the next video.